Okay then, this is going to be my first video on my voice coding project. I've been working on this for quite a while, but I only recently put enough time and effort into it for it to actually be somewhat useful. Um, I'm using Dragon, naturally speaking, together with Netlink and Dragonfly, but I think the details surrounding that is a topic for another video. Right now I just want to show you in practice what I can do. And to do that I'm going to replicate, or well, I'm going to write out this insertion sort implementation um, with my voice um, over here. And it's, it's just a basic insertion sort with the swapping broken out into separate methods so that I can demonstrate two different method declarations and also a method call in here. Now I'm going to do this with one minor difference. I'm not going to say array. I'm going to say list instead. Even though that's technically incorrect in Java, I'm going to say list because array, I don't know why, but my voice recognition just cannot handle that word. It, it just doesn't work. So I'm, I'm going to say list. Uh, but that's the only difference, uh, except for the class name, which I'm also going to name something else. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get into it. Wake up. Before. Declas, public, sorting. Defmod, public, void, insertion sort, arg, array, integer, list. Dec, integer, high. Ekvar, list, dot, length. Below. 4, 1, less high. Dec, integer j. Ekvar, i. Below. While. j, greta, 0. And. List, axe, j. Lita. List, axe, j. Undo. Before. j, mine, 1. Below. Call swap, j mine one, narg j, narg array, undo, before, j mine one, narg j, narg list, c dunk, j minic one, seco, below eleven. Dunk. Def mod public void swap. Param integer i. Naram integer j. Naram array integer list. Hello. Undo. Chive. Tag list. Hello. Deck integer temp. Eek. List axe i. Hello? List axe i. Eek. List axe j. C dunk. List axe j. Ekvar temp seco. Execute command write. Go to sleep. And as you can see there, there were no errors here. It's, it's all fine. Uh, to, to prove, I, I have linting here in Vim, so if I were to, for example, uh, let go of that, we're gonna see a, a an error message. So uh, it was all fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much this demonstration. Thanks for watching those two people that did.